This video is sponsored by Squarespace. So I think I finally figured out what makes this camera so special. I'm going to tell you like I told one of my friends, I have a lot of the newest cameras with the latest tech, but what happens is when I go out on a family outing or on vacation, I tend to leave these cameras at home or in the bag because one, they're just too big and inconvenient to take everywhere and two, something about these cameras just subconsciously, it's they're, they become a work tool in my eyes and I end up just using my cell phone. It makes capturing those candid moments more authentic because it's so unobtrusive. You know, the quality is far superior than my phone. And most importantly, it makes photography fun. It gives me a sense of freedom. And I know that may sound corny, but it just, it removes the pressure of having to take a banger Instagram photo anytime I'm doing photography. Because it is so fun to use, it inspires me to experiment and take photos of things and or moments that I normally wouldn't bother taking. And unlike my cell phone, it inspires me to document my life. Now, back when I was in police academy, I purchased the Fuji X100S because it looked cool to me and everyone was raving about it on YouTube. The image quality wasn't the greatest and the autofocus could barely keep up with my two year old daughter. Fast forward to present day, I still have the same feeling with the X100V. In this video, I'm not going to go over the specs of this camera. It was released almost three years ago and there's a ton of videos on it. Instead, I'm going to focus on the things that contribute to why this is my favorite camera of all time. Image quality. I find that the X100V is better in almost every single way than the X100S. The files are just cleaner, sharper. I have a 10% Cinebloom filter on the end. I find that 20% is a little bit too strong. 10% is my sweet spot. So when light hits the lens, it kind of gives the image a little bit of a, just a dreamy, nostalgic look that I absolutely love. The JPEGs coming out of the camera are beautiful. Again, if you're using the film simulations, I use classic negative for that rich contrasty filmic look and then classic chrome for a nice soft, you know, I get more dynamic range in my images. Those are my two favorite ones. It's also liberating to use this camera and not shoot for the edit like I would with one of my pro cameras. I can just come home and send these beautiful JPEGs straight to my phone to my wife or whoever without going through the whole importing and editing process. One thing I really want to emphasize is how versatile this camera is. It doesn't matter what brand of camera you normally shoot with. The lens is not interchangeable. So there is no commitment to invest further in the Fuji system. The lens you get is a 35 millimeter equivalent focal length, which is my favorite for environmental portraits. The downside to this lens is that you don't get a lot of background blur with this F2 lens, unless you are pretty close to your subject. And speaking on that, it can focus down to four inches, low key making this kind of a mini macro camera. It has a built-in ND filter that I use all the time. When I'm going from indoors to outdoors, for example, instead of having to crank my shutter speed, to adjust to the bright outdoors, I can just tap a button. I have it mapped to this little button right here next to the shutter, and it activates the built-in ND filter to quickly correct my exposure if I wanted to just grab a quick shot, allowing me to use auto ISO, because that's how I shoot this camera, without much of a penalty. It can fit comfortably in one of my cargo pockets, making this an amazing compact travel camera. A family documentary camera, it can even be used as a professional tool. One little thing about this camera that a lot of people don't talk about is the little onboard flash that it has. Yeah, it's not the most flattering light for sure, 
but combining one of the film simulations or even the built-in ND filter. You can get that 90s instant portrait look. It's definitely a vibe and I mostly use it for snapshots at like family events. But what's funny is that I've actually been noticing in a lot of ad campaigns that they've been doing the whole 90s Polaroid direct flash look. And I've actually done a couple of shoots so far and it's honestly refreshing to do something a little bit more fun and that's not clinically perfect. The ergonomics and the retro look is undeniably one of the biggest reasons to pick up a camera like this. I think Fuji achieved the perfect balance of minimalism and functionality with the overall design and button layout. The only issue with this camera's design from a usability standpoint, and that actually goes for most of Fuji cameras like the X-T3, X-T4, is the grip, or should I say the lack thereof a grip. I got this awesome thumb grip from LensMate that every X100 user needs in their life. I can securely grip the camera, but at the same time, I can move it and access the dials when needed. The hybrid EVF OVF adds another layer to the uniqueness of the experience, right? The OVF, the electronic OVF, it simulates what it would be like to shoot on a regular traditional rangefinder camera and switching to that makes me feel like I'm shooting on a different camera altogether. Just like any other camera, there are some flaws and some downsides. With the X100B, it's the one of them is, probably the biggest one is the autofocus. Um, it does have face and eye tracking, and I find it to be better than my old 100S, but you are still gonna have, gonna struggle with autofocusing with this camera. Um, a lot of the times I have to take control of my focusing point, which sounds kind of ridiculous because it's, that's what you have a joystick for, but I'm so pampered with my Sony and my Canon cameras that, you know, I'm so used to the camera finding my subject. One thing that's gonna help you get more shots in focus is the fact that this is a 35 millimeter F2 lens on, like with a crop sensor, which means that the plane of focus is pretty wide if you're standing farther back. So you're not gonna have many out of focus shots, or at least I don't when I use this camera. Another thing that I'm not a huge fan of is the battery life. I do recommend buying some extra batteries. I got the Artman third-party batteries and you know, those usually good for like maybe less than a year, you're getting like good performance and then they start to taper. Another thing that annoys me with this camera is being able to establish a, a reliable connection to my phone uh, because I shoot mostly JPEG and this camera is really set up really nicely to, to shoot JPEG like a lot, like a lot of Fuji cameras are with the film simulations. I wish that I can just reliably connect to my phone quick and fast and be able to transfer these files over to my phone instead of having to wait, go home and insert SD card into my computer like my other cameras. I'm not editing them, but it's still an extra step that I wish. And I feel like a lot of these Japanese camera manufacturers are, um, there's always a struggle with the app and I wish there was a little bit more consistency so that it'll be more just easier to use on the go and more convenient. I do wanna go over some of my favorite accessories that I have for the X100B along with a mini shout out to some of the YouTubers out there that I've learned a thing or two from when it comes to this camera and what I should buy for it. But before I do that, I wanna send a huge shout out to my sponsor and that's Squarespace. So if you have been looking to start up a website, blog or an online store, Squarespace is that one stop shop. It is so easy to use. Your work looks extremely high quality versus on social media where you get you know that compression and you have to crop your image. Every entrepreneur needs to have a website. This is the proper way of showing your work off to a client. Social media is not yours. So stop using that as your portfolio. With Squarespace, you don't need any kind of graphic design background because it's so easy to use. Uh, you can choose your template. You can change it up. You can change everything up at a click of a button. They got 24 seven customer support. And if you want to make money while you sleep and start an online store, like I have, I sell my Lightroom presets and my retouching tutorial. You can do that as well. If you use a coupon code Manny, you will get 10% off your first purchase. My favorite accessories for the X 100 V I've seen people on YouTube really pimp out this camera and put a lot of different things on it. 
Um, I think for me, I try to keep it as minimal as possible because it comes with me everywhere. And plus, it's such a nice classic look. I, you know, again, I try to keep it as simple as possible. Um, there's this uh, guy called Reggie, and he made a five accessories for the X100B video. That's where I got the idea for the camera strap. So it's from Clever Supply. It's kind of expensive. It's 100 bucks, but it's genuine leather. And it has at the ends, you know, uh, peak design connections so that you could take the camera right off of, you know, the X100. And I could put the X100B in one of my shoulder bags, you know, one of the hipster bags. I could throw it in there if I don't want to have it exposed the entire time on my shoulder. So that's the strap that I'm using. And it, I feel like it matches the vibe of the camera very well. Um, I use the Cinebloom 10% filter. I have a 20% as well. I think that the 20% is a little too much, a little too much most of the time. 10% seems to be that sweet spot. I have a square lens hood. I know I don't know what it's called, but for me, it just again, it just adds to the, the look of the camera. It does make it a little bit more bulky, but I just, I, yeah, I like the look that it gives and I never carry a lens cap. Actually, I lost it. So this is my way of just kind of, I guess, protecting the lens element if I'm not using a filter. The lens mate thumb grip movable thumb grip I actually got that idea from K Kamaki I believe his name is Kamaki um, really good content on the X100B actually on all cameras um, so I got that idea from him I actually even from his video I bought a green camera wrap okay and I'm not into camera wraps but his just looks so sweet and I'm I love that army green look again I this is why I don't like camera wraps I can never get it to just perfectly fit the camera um hope you enjoyed this video it took a little bit longer than i was supposed to to be honest um doing i took me like what three days three four days to just do just a b-roll for this all right so that is all i have for this video and uh guess i'm on to the next one